Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you and nice to be back in front of the camera for a shave. Uh, and boy do I need it, I look a bit scruffy. Okay, today's shave is a, it's a kind of tribute to a, a, a classic vintage razor. Um, I was sent some razor, razors, I told you before, uh, from Global Shave um, Club. Sheldon sent me some. Um, now this is the vintage razor. Uh, here it is here. This is a Gillette Tech. Uh, very, very good razor. Yeah, nice little razor. Lots of people have them. This one's in great condition. This is a ball end tech. I see the little ball on the end there. Yeah, so the razor that I'm going to be using, not that one, this one is paying homage to this one. Uh, it's the Tribute Series from Global Shave and it's the Replitech. Replitech Safety Razor. So it's a replica of that Gillette Tech. Comes in this nice little tin. There's a little kind of pouch in there, which I will take out. Uh, inside the bottom of the tin there, uh, first production run of 500 razors, the Replitech. Replitech Certificate of Authenticity. Yeah, so all the details are there. Um, I'm not sure if that has anything on the back of it, actually. I'll try and get this card out, if I can. A bit fiddly. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave it. Yeah. Well, there is, there is something on the back. It just says Tribute Series. So there's the certificate, which I will put back in the tin. Because it's not supposed to come out, I don't think. <laughs> so uh, here's the little pouch that comes in here. Yeah. Uh, Tribute Series Authentic Replitech Safety Razor. So here it is here. Uh, it's a three piece. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the, the Gillette Tech. Probably a little bit heavier. And it has a little, it has a, it seems to have a nicer finish on this. This is like a matte sort of satin finish. Whereas the original Tech, um, this one's quite high polished, as you can see. But I'll put the razor together. Um, and so here's the handle here. And here's the handle of the Tech. The original Tech handle. And here's the Replitech handle. Yeah, so this is a little bit heavier. Now the blade I'm going to be using is a Gillette 7 o'clock yellow or Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge. There it is there, and that's the third use on this blade. And we'll just put it together. Yeah, so it goes in like, this is the Replitech head. So there's little tabs at the corner here. And the blade just sits in between those little tabs. Just in the corner here, can you see that? And the base plate goes on and the handle screws on. And I'm putting a little, I'm gonna be using a little plastic washer again. I got on eBay. Yeah, there's a good bit of overhang on that. There it is there. There's the blade all loaded up. Very nice. Yeah, it's uh, if you don't have money to buy a, a razor like this, I mean, this one's in very good condition. It's not that expensive, but this one, um, the heads are slightly different, as you can see. Not much, not by much. The original tech here. It's just very, very slightly different. This one's more kind of rounded, the original. Yeah, but this is a, a stainless steel. Well, let me just, uh, I've got some notes here. The original tech weighs two ounces, two ounces, uh, and this one weighs 3.4. And uh, you get this one in three options, chrome over stainless steel, which I guess what this is. Uh, you get brass over stainless steel, and you also get a 24 karat gold over stainless steel. But I'll put the links to all the uh, websites on Global Shave. Um, and here it is here. I like the finish on this. Very nice. Yeah, great weight tip. Techs are great, great little razors. Okay, let me just put that all to the side so it doesn't get water on it or stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to be bowl lathering today and the cream I'm going to be using, yes, a cream, 
is this Noxima. Uh, this was sent to me uh, by George from Greece. George is in Athens in Greece and he sent this over. Uh, I've not tried it yet. Noxima Protective Shave Sensitive. Uh, and the writing's in Greek. I'll show you the ingredients and you can pause it. Is that going to show up? Yeah, just there. So, I've never used this before. I don't know what it's like. It comes in this nice red tube. It's, um, it's a metal tube. Nice old school stuff. Yeah, look, see, it hasn't even been broken yet, so I'll just break the seal with that. And I shall press some into the bowl. It's going to come out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so there's just a... I'm not sure how much of this to use, so... Let's uh, go for that. Put the lid back on. Yeah, Noxima Protective Shave. I think there's some kind of cream that you can use as a, a pre-shave. There's not much of this Noxima stuff in the UK. We don't, don't seem to have it in any stores or that. I know it's um, Noxima is popular in the States, but um, we don't seem to have Noxima um, here in the UK. The brush, as uh, I said before, is the James McGraw. Uh, he kindly lent me this. Uh, and here's the knot here. It's been soaking in the sticky toffee pudding super soaker. Yeah, badger brush. Look at the tips on that. Lovely. Um, this is a 28mm badger knot from Umo in China. Um, yeah, so we'll just do that. Okay, let's uh, let's lather this up. See how it goes. This is the Kerry Shaves bowl, as you know. Yeah, so what I'm basically doing here, uh, the scent on this is Sure, actually, it's um, it's creamy. <laughs> it smells, it smells a, a bit kind of um, medicinal, kind of antiseptic. I'm just gonna add some more water there. Yeah, I think most of this cream will be in this knot. There we go. No bowl lathering, but look at that. That's, um, what I'm going to do is I'll just probably just bring this, bring this to the face. I'll start lathering then. Let me just wear the face. Okay, here we go. Oh, this brush. Yeah, I think the last um, brush I used uh, from James was a, a bulb. In a bulb shape, not this is more of a, a fan shape. Yeah, so it kind of it kind of smells um, yeah, a bit like the uh, if you've seen my video using the Dettol cream. Kind of smells a little bit like that. Not a bad scent. Just uh, smells very clinical, <laughs> like a like a, a clinic. Oh, it's flying all over the place. Nice lather, though. Not really thick and rich, but like I always say. The only way to find out about these creams and stuff is to try them out. And to be fair, most of the creams I've tried, like from Europe, like cheaper creams and stuff like that, they've all performed very well. So let's, uh, let's hope this one does too. I'm not sure if it's kind of dissipating a little bit, but... We'll see. Okay. Let's uh, put some heat into this blade. Okay, here we go with the Global Shave Replitech. Um, that looks great. 
Nice way in it, nice little razor with the Gillette 7 o'clock yellow. Yeah, some people um, don't like the tech, they say it's too light. I like it, personally, um, but this one has a little bit more weight to it. Yeah, I like the finish on it. Very good. Nice and smooth. Yeah, so if you're in if you're in the if you're in the market looking for a vintage razor, yeah, this soap's not too bad. It's dissipating a little bit on my neck, but uh, first time using it, so I'm not really sure how it, how it will perform. It feels slick. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, if you're in the market for a, a vintage razor, like a vintage Gillette, um, but you're maybe having a job finding one that's in good condition. There's your solution right there. Yeah, it's very smooth. This blade. It kind of feels pretty much the same as the tech. Uh, albeit this is a little bit heavier, which is nice. But a great little razor for getting under the nose, uh, the, the profile of this head. Good bit overhand. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, past one. Let me just have a test this. Yeah, not that much slickness there. A little bit, not much, but a little bit. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. We shall carry on with the Replitech. Back for the second pass. Let me just go back to this bowl and just work this a little bit. In the bowl. It's a... <laughs> it has a, a kind of creamy scent. There's a little bit of... Um, yeah, like an like a antiseptic. It's nice enough, it's okay, it's not, it's a really light scent, it's not overpowering or anything like that. Yeah, the knot in this brush feels like a, a soft pillow on your face. Really, really good. And I meant to say that um, uh, West Coast Shaving have some new brushes out which uh, look absolutely lovely. I'll put a link actually to that in the, in the description. But you're not using that in the shave guy, that's okay. Just go and take a look. Actually, this lather looks um, looks better on this <laughs> on this pass than it did the first one. Nice. Anyone 
new watching to this channel, hello, thank you for joining us. And to all my regular viewers, you know who you are. You guys are uh, keeping it real. I've not said that for ages. I used to say that every video. <laughs> yeah, so um, here we go. Pass number two with the oh, smooth Replitec. Yeah, so you might, uh, you might ask yourself, why would I buy that when I can buy an original one? Well, it's, uh, like I say, it's becoming more difficult to find vintage razors, vintage Gillettes especially, in, uh, in good condition, really good condition. It's getting difficult to find them um, on eBay. Prices are going up. Uh, they are still out there. You can still find them. But They are becoming uh, more difficult to find, so this is the next big stop, best option, and it's uh, it has all this, the same attributes. <laughs> attributes. Ooh. It has all the same attributes as a, a vintage Gillette Tech, and even better, it has a little bit more weight to it. And if you look after it. It will last you for years and years and years. And of course it's a great shaver too. Yeah, Tech's one of the most... Uh, um, ...enjoyed vintage razors, I would say. Along with the fat boy and the slim, of course, from Gillette. But this just feels exactly the same. It's not too aggressive, it's nice and mild. The thing I like about this is it has a little bit a little bit more weight to it, which I like. Okay, second pass, yeah. That's uh, it feels mm, slickness is there, but not not masses of it. But it's okay, it's good. Okay, let me rinse a combat for pass number. <gasps> okay. Back for a third pass. We're rattling through this video. This might actually be under. Um, hmm, this might. <laughs> this might be under uh, thirty minutes. Right. Don't rush it. Though. Don't rush it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy your shave, Kevy. Enjoy your shave. That's the guy there again. All right, mate. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> Oh, you know what I forgot to talk about in uh, the last video? Oh, firstly, uh, what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday, so two more days and then the drawing for the brush will get made. The, the Kevy Shaves brush. Lots more entries in. I think we're getting close to 400 entries now. But the other thing I wanted to talk about, and I'm getting all serious now, uh, was Flash Boredom, uh, his decision to stop making videos 
for the moment. I'm not sure if he's going to come back. He's got some health issues. Um, I think he's getting a little bit better, but his um, his mother uh, also has some health issues that he's having to take care of with his family. So uh, Flash has stopped making videos just now, but he's left his back catalogue up. So uh, I hope everything's well with you, Flash, and I uh, hope you're get everything sorted with your family and your mum and stuff like that and all the best uh, yeah so I hope you'll come back but if he doesn't he doesn't there's plenty of other videos you could watch maybe not as uh, entertaining as Flash but there you go ok let's go back to the Replitech yeah look you can see this soap is starting to dissipate a little bit or this cream ok there's still plenty in here if I need to reapply I just will Okay, let's go against the growth. Um, and I usually find with these little light razors, they're the ones that often give you the little nicks and weepers. And This feels lovely, lovely and smooth. And the Noxima cream from uh, Greece is doing its job so far. <laughs> I thought I caught myself there, it was the brush falling on the bowl. Did you hear that? I thought I jumped. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just laughing there because um, <laughs> I used to do uh, we used to do this thing, me and uh, myself and my nieces, um, Mrs. Kevy's uh, brother, Emily's wife. I've got three three girls, and um, <laughs> when they were younger, we used to do this thing where we'd laugh and we used to do that like cut to stop laughing and it, it always made us laugh even more so we'd be like I'm just going to do a fake laugh now we used to go ah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> try it don't do a fake laugh though just wait until, wait until you're laughing at something with someone and then try and just do that and, and stop laughing at, and uh, I guarantee you, you'll start laughing again. Kevin's shaving tips and happiness tips. <laughs> that feels good. Okay, three passes done. Anything you didn't pick up? Yeah, usual spots. Down here, up here, and under here. My stuff feels good. Yeah, I wasn't sure about using the uh, the Gillette seven o'clock because it was um, third juice on that blade. I'll just show you the wrapper. Two dots on there, so this is its third juice. Yeah, it was like mm, in a mild razor, it might not work, but superb. Yeah, look at a little dot there. The good thing with these razors, you can you can do a good bit of buffing. You just go back and forward over the same spot, very, very gently and lightly. Just 
just go in all directions. I don't want to do it too much because there's not much uh, there's not much slickness on this cream, so I don't want to risk getting the razor burn. Just very gently. There's always it's just a slow bit down here. How are your shaves going, by the way? What are you using? What are you using? What's your favourite um, Gillette razor? Vintage one. There's a tiny bit on there. I'm just going to put some more lather on there. Yeah, see, looking at that, you guys wouldn't know. But when I feel it, and I've got to chase the BBS. The baby box smooth. That oh, looks excellent. A tiny little bit there. Yep, I'm calling it there. Okay. Let's see how much of this uh, cream left. Oh look, a lot of water in that brush. Maybe I added too much water to the brush. There's a the cream. I'm going to have a little face wash with this. It might have a little bit of lavender scent in it. Maybe just a little bit. Okay, I'll have a face wash, leave this on, clean my gear out, rinse this off with icy cold water and I'll see you for the post shave. Noxzema. Very nice. There's a uh, there's not much slickness there from that cream, but there you go. Okay, let's go in the post. Not used this for a long time. Thayer's lemon witch hazel. Just a little dash of that. Yeah, I've not been using witch hazel much recently. Oh, oh man, you forget how good it is. What a nice comfortable shave. There's lemon. Very good. <laughs> nice. Okay, on to the splash. Um, I've got to say, this is one of my favourite aftershaves. Um, I don't use it much, but it's one of my favourites. It's very cheap. I think it's readily available worldwide. Um, it's Spanish and it's Floyd Black, um, just because of this black label, that's why you know it's a difference. I wish someone, if there's an artisan out there watching this, can you make a soap with a scent? Floyd Black, what a scent. It's like a barbershop, old school oh, cologne. There's a little bit of, maybe a little bit of citrus going on there. So, oh, it's just beautiful, really nice. Let's have a good dash of that. Oh, yes. Yeah. If someone could make a soap with Floyd Black scent, or if there is one out there, there might be one I don't know about, but that would be great. Oh. It's a great scent. It doesn't last, it lasts maybe a couple of hours, but just really, really good. I love it. Love it. Okay, I finish it off. Nivea Men Originals, not used this for a long time either. Replenishing post shave balm. Yeah, I, I think I, I found about three of these bottles when I was doing the uh, the shave den tour video. 
<laughs> so this is probably brand new, never been used just that much. Nice scent. Yeah, very good. You can still smell the fly black underneath it. Very good. Very comfortable shave. Very, very comfortable. Just uh, put the lid back on the Nivea so it doesn't fall over and smash all over this bathroom floor. <laughs> okay, there we have it. Very nice, very enjoyable, very, very good. Let me show you what we've used. The razor, fantastic. The Global Shave Club. Global Shave, Global Shave Club, Global Shave Replitech. Yeah, a, repli a replica of the Gillette Tech, the old vintage one. Very nice, beautiful razor. Good weight to it. Um, shaves wonderfully well. It's quite mild, but it does the job. Inside that, a Gillette 7 o'clock yellow on its second use, third use, sorry, third use. Uh, and no problems with it whatsoever. Very, very good. Love it. Yeah, I'll put links to everything and you can go and check it out. I like the finish on this, on the head there, that kind of satin finish. Great. The cream for today was this Noxzema. Um, How was it? It was good. It done the job. It wasn't the slickest cream I've ever used, but uh, thanks very much, George from Greece, for sending us over all the way from Athens. So um, I'll use it again. Yeah, it was good cream. As I say, not the slickest, but it protected my face and done the job. Um, we bowl lathered that cream in the Kevy Shaves bowl and the brush was uh, this wonderful, wonderful brush with this wonderful knot. You can see the shape there, look. Yeah, thanks to James McGraw for sending me a couple of brushes to try out. I really love it. He was just wanting me to test these knots, but um, I'm going to get some. Uh, I'll maybe buy a brush and uh, put one of these knots in it. Very good. Badger. Great. Thanks, James. Um, that was the brush cream razor blade. Uh, we then had a face wash rinsed off with cold water. Post shave was Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. Uh, After shave, Floyd Black. Artisans. Get soap with a scent. Please. Please. Great stuff. I love it. Good stuff. Uh, and finished it off with the Nivea Men Originals Replenishing Post Shave Balm. And there we have it, ladies and gents. Yeah, look, not even any little weepers came out after that. Yeah, that was very, very comfortable. That razor is fantastic. Um, nice and mild. Uh, not any issues. Just great, just uh, great fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your shaves too, and I hope you're um, having some good ones, um, some drama free ones. It's always good discovering new razors and blades, and which blade works with which razor, and how is this cream and soap going to perform with this brush, and does it get a good lather? I've added too much water to it. There's so much to do in the shave. It's, uh, it's so much fun. I really love it. Okay, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm not sure if it's under 30 minutes. I won't know until I go and edit it. Edit it, edit it, edit it. Right, shut up then, I'm getting finished. <laughs> That's the guy. Okay, uh, have yourselves a wonderful midweek. Um, it's hump day, Wednesday. Uh, enjoy your shaves and I will see you on, I'll probably see you Friday or Saturday. I don't know if there'll be a shave. There might be a shave of Friday. Not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, if not, I'll probably see you on either Friday night or Saturday for the draw for the brush, the naming of the brush. So um, I'll get that done and uh, yeah, some great names. Keep them coming in. I'll put links to everything, all these videos. You look at the links and you'll see what's there. Uh, until the next video, take care of yourselves. I love you all. Thanks very much for your support on this channel. Uh, keep it coming. Keep the comments coming. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.